What's up YouTube, I'm Mike, and today I am finally back from this marathon series of vacations. Uh, I haven't made a video in a while because it's just been some crazy shit going on and it's about to get even crazier. Um, one piece of evidence of that is right behind me. That is a 16 foot enclosed trailer that we just bought, uh, which I will tell you a lot more about in a future video. What I want to do real quickly is to kind of wrap up or connect this video with the last one that I made, which was well over a month ago, I believe now, um, because I've had a couple of people uh, wondering if I survived the trip to Florida. As you see in the last video that I put up on my channel, I was sick as a dog in Florida. Um, it ended up just being some kind of little bug. I don't think it was related in any way to the cycles, uh, to the cycle that I was running and uh, was able to complete our vacation there with no problem. Uh, one of the things that, that was an issue, however, was the entire time I was on vacation, my resting pulse was staying up around 115 beats a minute. Uh, I've talked about this in some other videos, I think, and um, it was not anything that I was ever able to get sorted out when I was on vacation. Um, in case you are watching this video for the first time and you're not connected to anything else that was going on, the cycle that I was running was 500 milligrams of Test E, 500 milligrams of Primo E, and 200 milligrams of uh, Trinbolone E, um, and I was also running MK677. In that last video, um, I was sick and vomiting and I tried to use the MK677 uh, to in the vomiting. Uh, that did not work. I could not get the vomiting to stop. And my wife got a hold of my doctor and got um, on Dancitron, which put it to bed. So, um, got back from the Florida vacation, rested about a week, repacked, and we just went to Colorado for like 12 days. I have since been back for a while, but we have a new adventure coming up very soon that is probably going to change this channel quite a bit so i'm going to tell you more about that later but i want to at least catch everybody who's been waiting for an update um, i want to at least clarify where i'm at as far as the cycle goes so i lost um 15 pounds i think if i remember correctly on my vacation to florida uh, the vomiting and everything was horrific i could not get good calories down so when i left for florida i was around uh, 200 pounds, a, a little less than that. And when I got back from Florida, I was at 185. So I was pretty frustrated with the weight loss, but to be honest with you, I felt like my physique has never looked better. Like I was just peeled and shredded and vascular and, and I just was not missing the extra weight. And so, um, I got back in the gym as soon as we got back started getting a pump back, was feeling really good about where my physique was at, continued running the cycle, um, as I mentioned, and then we left to go to Colorado. The Colorado vacation, I knew I was not gonna be able to get in a bunch of uh, bodybuilding, but I thought, you know what, I've been slacking on my legs for a while, we're gonna go do a shit ton of hiking, I'll keep the cycle going, it'll help me on the trail, and maybe I'll put on some leg muscle, <laughs> you know, while we're at it. And so that was kind of the plan, and then we got to, we got to Colorado in, in all that elevation. And with that resting pulse at 115, I was getting my ass kicked. Um, it was really difficult. Um, we tried to go up a, a number of trails that gained quite a bit of, of elevation. And I was just struggling. You know, you, you start hiking and your pulse is at 115. You rapidly get up into the 120s, which was fine. But it, it would, within, you know, five minutes of, of going up a up a, a trail and I was at 140, 145 consistently and it was kicking my ass. I kept having to stop. Um, and so I was really not feeling the cycle, um, honestly, when I was on vacation in Colorado. Um, it was about 10 days in, seven days in, I could not keep my pulse down. And it just felt like, you know, this is, this is not sustainable. There, I, I'd, been, I'd been walking around with a 115 resting pulse for quite a while. At that point, I was completely off the MK677, completely off the GH. I was just on the 500 milligrams test, 500 milligrams Primo, 200 milligrams Trin. So what I elected to do was to uh, pull the plug on the Primo. The reason being, you know, everybody talks about how great Primo is and how how uh, well the body tolerates it. And I was just not like, 
visibly, my, like I said, my physique, I feel like has never looked better. Um, and then, but with, with the side effects, uh, it just wasn't working for me. And so the thing that I don't understand is that I have run the test and the trend at higher doses than I was running on this last cycle and I did not have the pulse problems. Another thing that started happening on the Primo was I started getting some symptoms of prostate enlargement. Like I would go to the bathroom at night and I would not have a steady stream and I kept feeling like, like it was like no matter how much I peed, I kept feeling like maybe I still had something left. Like it was like I just, I just constantly felt the, the, the urge to urinate. And uh, it was annoying, it was slightly concerning. I knew that my, my doses were pretty high and so that can definitely cause some benign uh, prostate hypertrophy. And so I didn't worry about it too much, but that coupled with the 115 resting pulse and the struggles I was having on the trail and I thought, you know what, I'm not even in the gym right now. Let's pull off on the, on the Primo and see what happens. So I pulled the plug on the Primo and uh, slowly but surely the symptoms started to resolve. Um, my prostate it seems to be back totally to normal. I don't have any of the, ur the, the urgency or the urination issues. Um, my resting pulse is back down to um, anywhere between 79 and 89 beats a minute. Excuse me, 79 and 85 beats a minute. And so um, that was at the 500 milligrams of test and 200 milligrams of trend. Once we decided to go in a different direction in our lives, I went ahead and dropped the trend again back to the 50 milligrams a week. So currently where I stand, I'm on 500 milligrams of test and 50 milligrams of trend E per week. And that has been sufficient to maintain my body weight at 185 pounds with fucking shredded abs and crazy vascularity. Um, so I have not lost any more weight um, since I started the vacation process, which was really great because um, I think if my weight had gone down any further, I would have been about ready to quit. So I'm getting ready to get back in the gym. It's been several weeks now, a couple weeks now since I've lifted. And so I'm looking forward to getting a big pump and uh, filling the muscles out and uh, increasing my calories a little bit and try to put on, you know, try to try to get nice and full again before we head out of town again which is probably gonna be sometime in the next month. So what I'm thinking about doing now that I've got my biomarkers more or less in line is rather than going back on the Primo, what I'm considering doing for say the next six weeks is testing out the Anadrol because I've got it, I still haven't had the chance to use it. I'm not gonna go uh, crazy again. Basically where I think I'm at with my bodybuilding career is that I'm done uh, with these big bulks like my body does not want to get any bigger than it is 200 took a lot of work for me to get to 200 200 lean and um, it, It's just in my life at my at my age and with what I'm looking to do in my life I feel like I'm not gonna try to quit bulking period like I still want to gain some weight but blasting large amounts of drugs and eating massive amounts of calories trying to pack on as much weight in a short period of time as I can I just feel like um, at my age, it, it's, it's just not worth what I would get out of it. You know, like let's say that I go crazy on some fucking huge blast and I gain another 10 pounds. And so I get to 210 instead of 200. I'm still never setting, I'm still not stepping foot on stage. You know, my wife doesn't give a shit if I gain 10 more pounds. You know, like the, the, from a, it's basically at this point, the bodybuilding is purely vanity. And another 10 pounds of solid muscle is just not really going to benefit me in any kind of tangible way. So if I can gain that 10 pounds over the course of a year by manipulating my hormones and by, you know, basically main gaining, like uh, Greg Doucette says, rather than trying to blast a bunch of weight on and then cut, I think I'm just going to give it a much more steady approach. I'm definitely going to continue using anabolics. But I think the idea of these massive blasts is just not in the cards for me right now. It doesn't mean that I'll never do it again, but I've been basically bulking for the last four years. You know, I started at 144 and I grew, I, I started at 144 with probably around 15% body fat, maybe a little higher. And in the four year period, I got up to, uh, I think 203 was my highest. 204 maybe, I don't know, at 10%, give or take. 
So I've put on a tremendous amount of muscle in a four year period. I've beaten my body up really good and I think it's time to take uh, a different approach for a little while. So um, I will have more videos coming out about a number of different things uh, explaining why this trailer is here. To my right in my garage, I have a brand new Polaris Sportsman Trail Quad uh, ATV because we <laughs> are out of Dallas, baby. My house is going on the market very soon. We have a crazy new adventure coming up that's gonna be a tremendous amount of fun on this channel. And there's still gonna be plenty of steroids and bodybuilding to go along with it. So I just wanna make this quick video to let you guys know that I'm back, I'm back in the lab again, ready to start uh, producing some more videos, some more content, and to give you a feel of where I'm at with my cycle. So I will have more details about everything to follow. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.